Well guys, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday, June 9th, 2021, and we're out here in Martinsville, Indiana, about to go into the tra Trader Bakers. Trader Bakers, flea market. It's a flea market that is open all week long. Vendor booths all throughout this big, what used to be a Kmart. And with me today, do you want to be? In sure. It? Okay. This is Joe Hammer. Hi. Ah. Beth Hammer's other half. And uh, let's see what uh, what we can find if there's going to be any good deals in here. I got a feeling I'm probably going to find more than I've got room or money to take home. Just a random can of garbanzo beans just sitting there. Joined it. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Actual building materials here. Solid square block. Oh, wow. That's heavy. Mm -hmm. There's a guest book here. An unfilled out guest book. And a wedding. Let's see, the wedding songbook series. There's a sad story that goes along with this, I'm betting. An unfilled out guest book. Oh man. <laughs> we have a Galactus here. Whoa, that is a weird looking Galactus. Look at that face. That just, uh uh. Something's not right there. That is not menacing at all. $185. And just make it look like you shot it yourself? Yeah. Or $185 just puts this in your living room? Say, I shot it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Depression era jello mold here. This one is very uncommon with the Victorian pattern on the top. I really want it, but not bad enough to pay no $24. <sighs> I'm too cheap. If you put the jello in there, how do you get it out? You have to um, take the take it and put it down in hot water, or take a towel and put it in really hot water and drape it over the top. And then you shake it back and forth. Oh. Not not up and down. Everybody wants to shake it up and down, but you shake it back and forth real good until you start hearing it going. Uh -huh. And then you lift up. Okay. Yeah. I think a lot of jello molds that they make now that you get off of like Amazon or something, mm -hmm. they're plastic and they have like a little latch on the middle which you can pull out. Pull out. Yeah, and it just the suction mm -hmm. just drops out. But with these old metal ones, you gotta you gotta find another way. Okay. Beyblade parts. See, I see the arenas all the time, and I see the video games all the time. Yeah. But as far as the parts, I mean, this is still a big thing mm -hmm. that kids are are playing with now. Even now, there's whole forums for them and everything. Okay. But they're five dollars a piece. I'm sure if, some, if the right person. That knew what they were doing came through here and bought this whole case they could they could parse it out and sell it on ebay for like a fortune just keeps right on going yeah we're gonna have to pick up the pace if we're gonna see everything <laughs> you don't think so no. this right here are these like really well done paintings uh, prints that have been printed onto wood blocks mm -hmm. celebrity prints there's Andre Hepburn. Paul uh, McCartney. Paul McCartney. Yeah. I don't know this one. But th there's there's even Christian Bell's Batman right mm -hmm. there. That's really not that old. At least it doesn't seem like it. Okay. I just found this waffle iron. And on the bottom it says Dominion Electric Company. And it was manufactured in Ohio. Mansfield, Ohio. Don't know what year, but it has to have been old from when things were still manufactured in America. Look at this. And if you want to detach the plates, it doesn't have that little clip like the uh, um, the the General Electric waffle irons did. 
Instead, it's got this little spring-loaded pin that's still working good right there. There's another one here for the bottom plate. Pull that out. You can lift it up. There's your heating element. Everything's right there. I just hope it works. I'm going to have to plug it in. But uh, they want $15 for this. It's from the days before they had the ground. The ground on hefty appliances. This, this one's got me excited, guys. I just found an Instapot pressure cooker in good condition. Manual steel intact. Looks like it's never been used. The price tag, guys, is $10. They usually go for somewhere between $60, $70. Bucks. <laughs> got me so excited. Okay, so uh, I'm going to plug it in and see if at least the buttons light up. I can't, like, wait for it to heat up. Oh, look at that. instantly comes on. That. <laughs> okay. And then on top of the waffle iron. All right, let's, let's test the waffle iron and see if that works. Okay, come on, please work. It, it works. It works. It got hot. Wow. Okay, we, we, we have to go because we have somewhere. I have to be at 3 o'clock. I'm gonna, actually going to be drawing characters at a barbecue place. Um, so we had to go. But that was only half of it. And now I've got an element, old-fashioned, detachable plate, made in America, waffle iron, and an Instapot for $10. And uh, I didn't show it, but, and also a new multi-tool for $3. <laughs> you can see I got a big smile right now. <laughs> I have wanted an Instapot. I, I found one at the flea market, Smoky flea market, but even at the flea market, it was still like 45 bucks. I, wasn't about to buy it for ten dollars <laughs> okay <laughs> all right that is going to be it for this one uh wait, i might have wait, to make, wait what one thing yeah. we did not make half of it we didn't even get half of it no wasn't even half of it so uh maybe i'll come back and make another video on thursday about the other half uh when i've got a little more time uh but that is going to be it for this one guys if you've enjoyed it give me the good old thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already make sure to turn on notifications i will talk to you down in the comments and i look forward to seeing you in the next one